Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional gaming um, logo for your YouTube channel or anything else. So first, uh, you should use paint.net. I really use paint.net, but click new, uh, go to file and click new, and go to width, put 800, and height 800. And you can put um, the print size as much as you want, and yeah. Now click OK, and you should have this. Um, this will be your background for now, but what we want is we want to make two, make two layers. Now, first, we are going to type our first um, letter. OK, first, actually, make the text size um, 400. That's the best, I think. Um, I put it right in the middle and now put the start of your channel name so I'm just gonna pretend mine's A but you can use any font you want today I am going to use font Raider Crusader there we go and now okay so we have our blank normal logo look but now what we can do when we have this if you want to make it like have like a shadow i'll be doing that in like a simple one but yeah this is a professional so if you want to have a professional one go ahead and do this one but here we go now what you want to do is of course go on google now you want to um go um diagonal background now find any of these you want pretend i am going to use this one high quality uh, this is a high quality lava pyrogonal background so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my uh, layer three so make a new layer and it's going to be layer three paste it and if it's bigger then just drag it copy it from there and then drag it here but then make sure it fills the whole letter now um go into layer two click the magic wand and now click the background and then it should make like a highlight of your word now click the eraser tool and go the highest you can so i think the yeah the highest is 2000 now make sure you're on layer three now and now click boom you have your a as the pioneer um i don't know how to say it but there you go now we can, now what you wanna do is you want to um, um, highlight the A, but if you want to, you don't actually need to, but first you have to actually have to click this right here. You wanna merge the layer, um, but yeah. Now, you if you want to, you can. You can make an outline, but if you don't want to, you don't need to. And then, now, what I can do is you can make a background. Um, go search up maybe a space background. So I'm gonna use space background HD. Uh, pretend I wanna use this one. It looks very colorful. And it's HD, it's 1080p. It says right here. It doesn't actually look very 1080p. Uh, okay, let's use this one. Copy this image. Go. Make sure you use the background, and then copy and paste. Don't expand it if it's big, too big. Just keep it size. And now move it into where you want it to be. Uh, maybe I want it to be like right here. And now, what you can do with the background now is you can go ahead and. Um, go into um, adjustments again hue saturation click here and then you can like change the color of the background then I wanted like greenish like this like bluish then there we go we have a background and we have our layer oh gosh I actually unplugged it but we have our background right here now I think it's better outlined so I'm gonna out outline it Outline it in white. Make sure it's on the layer that the A is on. And then 
can start highlighting. Oh, okay, it's too big. And make sure it is the brush size is three, and that should be exactly enough to actually make the exact size of the logo. So, <coughs> just go ahead, fill, up, fill it up. Uh, don't know if you can use it in any other Photoshop programs, but I only think it works on Paint.net. And anyway, sometimes Paint.net comes with Windows, so. Yeah, I'll use paint on that. Okay. Oh no. Gotta put it over here. Now, there. Boom. On here, up here, and we're nearly finished with one line left. Here we go. Now we're finished, and look at this. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Now, boom, you have your professional gaming, um, gaming, uh, photo pic. So you can add like more pictures if you want and any other stuff. Just make sure you make a new layer every time you make a photo or it's gonna look a bit weird. So yeah. And mm, hope you enjoyed. Um, comment, like, and subscribe if you want more. Um, right now I'm gonna make the simple version of this. So next video is gonna be the simple version. So yeah. Bye, guys.